we're gonna show you our top five free websites every laser crafter needs to know. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week. At any given time you walk by my desk, you're gonna see three of these next five websites <laughs> open on one of my tabs. <laughs> they practically built our business. That's because they make life easier and they make production and designing faster. Yep. So we're gonna give you our top five, starting at number five, ImageR. This is a web-based image preparation application. This is mainly used for laser engraving. Every laser crafter wants to start with engraving a tumbler. At least that's how I started. Or engraving acrylic. And this is a great tool to prep your images for engraving. This is your one-stop shop for prepping your images for engraving. But it doesn't stop at that. They also have a puzzle maker, some masking where you can lay one image over top of the other. You know how you want to put that uh, eagle over top of that American flag. They have slicing if you need to break an image up across multiple materials. Background removal. It'll also vectorize your image. It'll do color correction. It also has image enhancing and resizing where you can take those pixel based or raster images and blow them up without losing a lot of that detail. We've used this on things like our acrylic night lights when we made the two different versions. We've used this on uh, the AI generated image where we engraved the wood plank a few weeks ago. And we used it when we were prepping our logo to engrave on some tumblers. Website number four, threeaccess.co. This place is a treasure trove of randomness. <laughs> if you're looking for doll furniture, a full-size chair, a lamp, or even a full-size 3D pterodactyl, this might be the place where you find that. This is a great website for ideas, or let's say you have an idea, you want to create some sort of a lamp, but you're not really sure how you might have the lampshade hang. Well, you can go to a website like this and see how, how other people are creating lamps and how they might be doing it. This is a great place to start with new ideas and kind of get your juices flowing and turn your idea into reality based on maybe how some other folks are doing some things. Now they do have free downloads. That's because this is an open source website. So be careful when you're downloading these files, who knows what might be in them. Well, you'll just want to scan them with your virus software before you use them. Site number three, makercase.com. You'd be surprised how many times you need to make a box with your laser cutter. And this site is perfect for that. Not just projects, but also business tool to functional shop applications. We use it to make the top of our rolling ribbon rack. It kind of just capped it off, polished it off, made it look finished. We've created lanterns at holiday time. We use it to make the dividers in our shipping boxes so that we can ship out our paints without getting destroyed. We've used it to make display racks, so our car vent clips. We started with Maker Case and we created the box portion of that. We used it for the bottle cap Plinko game. We started with the box, a really skinny box. And we even used it out in the shop to make filter boxes for our lasers. Site number two, svgnest.com. You want every inch of your material used because material is expensive. And this is a great application to organize your objects onto your board. This allows you to make sure you can nest every single object so that you are using your space or your materials the most effective. This will calculate it out and use every inch of material. And if it's too big, this will nest objects even across multiple boards. Say you have the alphabet and you have to 26 letters at 10 inches tall, but you're only using a cutting area of 12 by 20. You can load all of your objects, state what your cutting area is. It will group the letters by board and give you an export that you can cut helping you to use your materials most efficiently. Site number one, hands down number one, our favorite website. We use it every day. 
Canva.com. Don't sleep on Canva. I know you've heard us say that. We use it in a lot of videos, but by far it is our most used application. Not only for creating designs, which you see a lot, but also for business tools. Things like business cards, flyers, we used it to create our retractable displays that kind of advertise what other types of signs we might have that you can order on our website. We use those at craft shows. We use it for brochures. We use it to do mock-ups. We use it for t-shirts, flags, banners. We even used it to create the labels for our new paint brand. Canva is a versatile tool for your business. It's gonna allow you to do most things in your business, Yeah, most right? things in your business. I, the, the tool is so powerful, we could literally do a, an entire video on Canva. They have a bulk merging of designs. You have video, they have video templates, they have stock footage, they have clip art, they have design templates. I they told you we could go on have forever. <laughs> everything that you would need to kickstart your business or expand your business. This is a great way to 10 times your business. Canva is a free application, but they also have some features that are a paid feature. Don't sleep on those features either. They are worth every penny. These are what we consider our top five applications. I know that you have others that you use. Put them in the comments down below and share it with others. What is your top five that we didn't list that you use in your business or when you're laser crafting that others might find helpful? And a big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. And that is the best way to support this channel. Join us over on Patreon where we have a large community of people just like you other laser crafters that are doing the same kinds of projects you're doing have the same questions you have is a whole community over there well i'm about out of time so i will see you on tuesday for another test cut tuesday and again on friday